We are counting down a little more than a week until the first crude launch in nearly a decade from U.S. soil. soil. NASA announces a shakeup with its leadership, though. The agency revealed this afternoon the head of its human space flight has stepped down. New 6's Troy Campbell is at the Space Coast with the details. Yeah, the leadership change comes as their two astronauts are expected to land here at the Kennedy Space Center tomorrow ahead of next week's critical launch. Today, the vice president saying the return to space will inspire Americans during a very trying time. I'm going to be in Florida tomorrow. I, I, I am sure that I will be sensing the excitement building in Florida. Vice President Mike Pence speaking to NASA astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley during the seventh meeting of the National Space Council earlier today. The vice president saying during the coronavirus pandemic, Americans are looking for something to give them hope. I know it's going to be a great inspiration to the American people uh, when we uh, when we see those uh, rockets fire next week. NASA confirming to New 6 just eight days from the scheduled launch to return Americans to space. Doug Lavero, the head of its human spaceflight office, has stepped down from his position after being appointed last October. NASA saying his interim replacement, Ken Bowersox, previously held the position prior to Lavero taking over. The historic launch will mark the first time a private company has sent humans to the International Space Station and the first time astronauts will launch from American soil since 2011. There you will have had a lot more people watching uh, nearby at previous launches. I think they're they're encouraging Americans to watch from afar, but uh, I want to assure you that uh, uh, the president and I are looking forward, uh, looking very much forward to cheering, cheering you on. And speaking of watching the launch in person, Florida Highway Patrol says vehicles will not be allowed to stop along some of the causeways. The county says law enforcement will be out reminding people who aren't social distancing. Again, the two astronauts are set to land here tomorrow at around 4 p.m. Outside the Kennedy Space Center, Troy Campbell getting results, New 6.